bro. Good evening, bro. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, see, this life. Uh, <laughs> I why why I'm so much emphatic about what I want to say now is that we saw the situation that Ivory Coast could have found themselves in some days ago when they were hoping. You know, just like the portion of the Bible that says, who against hope believed in hope. Shentaraba. <laughs> Shentaraba. Shentaraba. <laughs> so, going into this one, I already had concluded that Senegal are going to mess them up. And true to my words, when the game started, Senegal banged in the first goal. And I was like, ah, that's the first of many to come. And surprisingly, the game was dragging on, dragging on. And the next minute, Ivory Coast equalized, went into the penalties. And then we now see Senegal going back home as in i least expected this call and to be very honest with you against a side who was praying that they should end up being taught best so that they can qualify and now they have taken out senegal who are the current defending champions man what do you have to say about this let me start from here so it's on record now since 1996 mm. um that south africa won the nation's cup since 1996 to date it is only three teams or three nations that have survived till this moment. Okay? Although South Africa will be playing tomorrow, so we'll know whether it will be between Nigeria and Ivory Coast that have carried this uh, tournament, that has won um, AFCOM and are still in the tournament in this uh, year 2020, this 2023. AFCOM is 2023, okay? Because of weather, that's why it's moved to 2024. Now, you find out that Algeria, okay, let me even start with Senegal, the defending champion, is gone. The, the next in line, Algeria, gone. Okay, then Cameroon, gone. <clears throat> so it's now left for, it is now about uh, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, then South Africa in 1996. Good and fine. What does that tell you? It tells you that um, it is a highly competitive tournament obviously just two years old but then in two years many things can happen even in one year because there are some afghan that within the space of a year it happened and everything changed like this afghan is very is coming so close in 2015 next year and another afghan is, is is by our side okay so um but then there's one thing i've learned in this uh, tie between uh, senegal and ivory coast and that is winning mentality mm. You ask, what do I mean by winning mentality? Does it, doesn't it mean, am I talking that uh, Senegal does not have the winning mentality? The answer is no. Now, the elephants of Ivory Coast and the Terenga Lions of Senegal has met four times before today. And out of those four times, Ivory Coast won them three times. And they only won once. So that is a mentality I think the Ivorians also came with. Not minding that not excluding the fact that they are the host nations, okay? The host nation. But then, we've also seen um, a Senegal side that I might also say that, will I say they were more like overconfident, if you ask me, okay? Because I expected them, well, the first goal came. When the first goal came, what you needed to do is score another one. You've crippled these people now. Score one more goal and you've crippled them. Look at... Uh, um, Equatorial Guinea, what Equatorial Guinea did to them. Score first goal, bang, bang, bang. Before you know it, everybody don't cry. Crying, just feel everywhere for stadium. That was what I, what I expected, okay? But then, um, kudos to Ivory Coast. And uh, I'm supposed to bring my offering box as a, a prophet because it was from our prophecy. <laughs> I said I was not a prophet, though, but people watching this video have always been, has been calling me prophet, prophet. So, um... <laughs> This is a season in Nigeria, a season of uh, um, first fruit, Abi. Yes. Please, Ivorians, I'm waiting for my offering. Give me my first fruits <laughs> because when you guys were down and out, I predicted or we predicted that you were going to make it to the knockout stage. And who would believe that you made it to the knockout stage, now you are heading to the quarterfinal? But that is one thing with football. Football is cruel. Mm. Football is football. If you don't have mind, you might just go down. That is one thing with this game, okay? And it has happened today that the Ivorians are crying. Mm. And one thing also I need, I need to mark out from today's match is I need to call out somebody um, uh, in the name of Kessie. Mm, Frank Kessie. 
How dare you? Who goes you to go and say that you want to play that penalty kick at that time of the match? More like the tail end of the match. I awarded uh, the the although the referee. I don't know what happened, but thank God for VAR. You could have messed the tournament up, but thank God for the VAR team that called him. Please go and watch this because he did not see that it was a penalty kick, clear penalty for for I, the Ivorians. But then, and I was wondering who we play this. Yes, Pepe, Pepe of Arsenal. <laughs> Kudos to quarterfinal. Are you serious? You made it to the quarterfinal of AFCON? Big up, guy. Big up, big up, big up. So, Kishi came forward to play. I said, what? You know what? That kind of response. You are carrying your nation on your head. The whole of your nation on your head. To play that penalty kick. <laughs> Omo, <clears throat> I don't get that kind of mind. I don't know what gave him that kind of mind. Because, see, till date, in Nigeria... Nigerians don't like Ayubeni. Reason? Because during the World Cup, Korea World Cup, South Korea World Cup, was it? No, no, not South Korea World Cup. What World Cup was that? That World Cup was around, uh, uh, is it 2012? I think it's 2012. What happened? The World Cup, he missed a clear cut chance. Just look at post and he missed, he played the ball and he was. <laughs> Since that day till now, <laughs> Nigerians have never, they've not forgiven Aibini. Aibini's name has gone to the train. But he's a guy that super sub back then, once he come in, we call him, I call him replica of Amokachi. He will come in and just been banging in goals. But then where he is, in fact, they don't even give him, they don't call him for anything, you know, TV presentation, you know, they don't do meetings you know, because of what? Because of that miss that he missed. So imagine what could have happened for Casey, if he had missed that, that, penalty. that penalty. And guess what? During the penalty kicks, he still came back. He still came back to play and he scored. Or oh, more, what a hero. It's not easy to carry that chest. Or oh, more, but finally, what did Mark Zuckerberg tell us? That fortune favors the bold. Mm. You need to be bold. Mm. Maybe now is the time for motivation. I motivate you guys. Be bold. <laughs> That's what you want to go and do. Or more, go and try. Go and do it. Nothing they happen. Nothing they pass. Go and do it. <laughs> so, beautiful night of football, I must say. Sad news for, um, for Senegal. They came into this Nations Cup. First, um, first uh, match, they won. Second match, they won. Third match, they won. Nine points. Say, who goes you? Who are you? Who are you giving us? They say, take Ivory Coast. Say, no problem. I know why. Um, but then, because came, did the same thing, you know. When we say the might not last, right now, I am confused, I'm confused. Reason, Africos is, they are known for holding the possession. Remember during Nigeria again, Nigeria said, no problem, we are not dragging it with you people, Lord. but we will calm on our down. We will calm you guys down. And that was, happen, that was what happened during the Nigerian game. Mm. And you know, Nigeria has always had this, see, Pesero, 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 pesero. But there is something about the Nigerian team. Since I was, I was a child, now that I'm getting older and older and older, Nigeria will always try to calm you down. Whether they are with possession or they are not with possession. That is the game plan of Nigeria. I don't know whether, I don't know who is going to change it. And that's what happened for Nigeria to calm them down. Carry possession, no problem, but we'll calm you down. We'll still play you guys the ball. And that, that, that was what I was also expecting from Ivory Coast, but then it did not happen. Um, um, uh, Ivory Coast took the day, especially in the second half. Ivory Coast we were just playing and playing and playing and playing. Was looking for that second goal that would just neutralize everything, but it did not come forward. But then, that is football, like I said. Mm -hmm. Big ups to them. And uh, <laughs> we are waiting, you know, anything can happen. But at this point, at this point, Ivory Coast, you guys have tried. I've supported you guys enough. <laughs> now, I'm withdrawing my support. <laughs> right now. Yes, I've been supporting because of the $1 billion you guys have spent in this tournament. And you hosted this tournament real nice. You've showcased everything you can. Um, our friends there, our journalist uh, friends that are out there, are having fun. I'm seeing them. They are, they are marrying. They are going about. No crime. Electricity is there in Ivory Coast. Oh, 
sweet, sweet, sweet um, celebration of football out there in Ivory Coast. But then, it is time. It is time for me to withdraw my <laughs> support. Okay? And uh, one, la lastly, one funny thing that also happened. When they scored that winning goal, you could see the jubilation. One thing I've also noticed, you see this cameraman. Hmm? <laughs> when they scored that goal, did you see that scene where one man and one woman yeah, I we are together. I, 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 and the guy wanted to go and kiss the, the guy. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> the guy do a nah, cover him. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't need that thing. Okay, but then <laughs> he, he's still part of the game. Okay, he's, he's still game. part of the game. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> because because we were so entertained. Thank you, Ivory Coast. Thank you, Senegal. You guys are still good. Okay, mm. and when we say you still have, a, you have talents. Plenty of talents in the Senegalese team, okay? So we'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll see you guys hopefully in the World mm. Cup. Come on, showcase your, your, your yes. class. Obviously. You guys are good. Obviously. You guys are good. Obviously. Uh, Terenga Lions. <laughs> Terenga Lions. Terenga Lions. And mind you, Terenga Lions, Terenga in, in, in Senegal is known for warmth. It's known for um, people that accept people. It's known for welcoming. They mm. open their arms and welcome people. So... Mm. Senegal is a fine place to visit mm. in Africa. If you're out there, you're looking for where to visit. You say, eh, I was in this country. They did not, where well, the they were looking at me anyhow. They were not warm. But go to Senegal. You will see people will embrace you. People will welcome. People will show you places. You will enjoy. Mm. You will have fun. Mm. And maybe at the end of the day, make sure you collect the Senegalese wear, the African dress. You will love it, guys. Obviously, Thank you. Obviously. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, to those of you watching this, you can be part of what we are doing here. Under the comment section, let us know how you feel about this matchup and about some of the things Mr. Victor has said. And uh, if you're watching this for the first time, like I always say, I never fail to do this. Click on the subscribe button, activate the notification bell, and be up to date with our latest videos. And to those of you that are subscribers who have already been watching our content and commenting, we say thank you. Some of you may wonder, listen, we can't thank you enough. We can't thank you. We are seeing the massive growth on our page. And all this has been possible because of you guys. We are not ungrateful here at Football Intel. We are paying attention to every detail. That's why we say thank you to you guys. And also want to implore you guys to keep liking, keep sharing these videos, keep commenting on them. Because your comments on our videos help us know how you guys feel about the content which we create here. Now, remember, we promised you right from the outset of this AFCON tournament to be giving you these videos back to back. And we have kept our word. We have kept our word. And we have more surprises coming up. Even after the AFCON is not over, don't think that Football Inter will go to rest. No, as a matter of fact, it's just the beginning. This AFCON is just the beginning. We have a whole lot in store for you guys this year. Creating the best of content, which will always keep you guys at the edge of your seats. And it's good to know there are some of you here who always comment that you're always looking forward to our videos. I, I, I believe you mm. see those comments. Mm. How do mm. you feel? How do you feel when you see comments like that? I feel excited. It's amazing. These guys I are feel, amazing. Wow, you guys are dope. These guys are amazing. Love you guys. Love you guys from earth to heaven to the sky <laughs> to the moon <laughs> to the galaxies. Come on. We've never felt this kind of love. I'm telling you, these guys are amazing. These guys are amazing. Love unspeakable. The kind of love you cannot find except in heaven. Mm. Thank you so much, guys. We are so proud of you. We, we, are, we, we, we love what we are seeing. What you guys are telling us is that, see, this football inter has come to stay. Mm. Football inter, go and prepare for the bigger explosion. Sure. Go and prepare to sell out Africa to the world. Go and prepare to showcase our God-given talent mm. thank you guys we are humble we are grateful we can't take this for granted thank you for all you do thank you so much thank you so much till we come your way again tomorrow i remain your host of football intel dominion tricks saying bye for now